Good afternoon, it's great to see you and to have your company once again this Tuesday. It's one o'clock on this sunny day here in the UK. Today we're going to be doing some more card making. And I but something dodgy is going on with my Wi Fi. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know why it's struggling to reconnect. Hopefully it will reconnect us in a minute too. Right. So I'm going to make a card, and then I'm going to try and recreate the same um, sketch design, but maybe make it a bit more masculine. So if you're wondering what to do for Father's Day cards and things like that, then I'm going to try and change it up a little bit to make a masculine one. So I hope you're having a great day. It's lovely to see you. Um, and I'm going to get started with my card. Now I need to bring on the big machine, and I'm going to bring on an embossing folder. So let's have a look at what we've got. I might just change it up ever so slightly. I'll use the brick wall. Good morning, Valerie. Is it morning for you, Valerie? I'm just saying good morning in case it is. Um, let me just move you up out of the way a second because I need to get my machine in here. And <coughs> excuse me, I've <coughs> got to tickle it off. I'm going to bring my dies because I need something which has a border. I can use this one for now, I think. Yes, let's do that. Okie dokie. So I've just <laughs> rushed back from being in town today. I was I've got a, a wedding reception to go to next week and I kind of don't know why I left it so late to think about what to wear. I think it's because I thought I was sorted and then I wasn't entirely happy so I was like okay I'm going to scout around the charity shops and have a look to see if I can find something. So I've been picking up various things in the hope that something would work and I've got a possible option. <laughs> I just need to now continue making it work. So sometimes that's the thing when you buy something, you're like, well, that's one of the things. Now I need need the rest. But uh, we shall see. It's it's a good start. I'll let you know how my outfit comes together. <laughs> nice to see you all. Thank you for hopping on. So this is the brick. Um, or 3D mortar, I think it's called, embossing folder. It's got this really cool brickwork on it, which is slightly different to my original, but that makes it more exciting sometimes to just have a bit something a bit different. And I'm also going to cut um I'm sure whether just to do these little lines here. Oops, it doesn't want to come off, it's stuck on good and proper as they say. There we go. Just wanted to add a bit of detail to this strip here. Oh, it's turned out to be a sunny day today. Should have put my washing out today rather than rushing to get out yesterday. There you go. It's done. And then it said it was going to rain at five o'clock, so I brought it in because it looked like it was clouded over. And then it didn't rain until much later. So there you go. They advise, they, the greater, uh, you know, crafters out there, that when you're rolling um, dies through, you do it at an angle, something to do with the pressure on the rollers of the um, machine. And it does work, actually. It's a lot smoother. So we've got this really cool kind of dash. Dash, 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 dot, dots going on. Oh, I thought I had a check to pay and I forgot to do that. Does anybody get checks nowadays? I mean, who sends checks, right? <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's see who's on with me. Hi, Heidi. Oh, Valerie, why did I think you were in a different country? I don't know. I just assumed. Hi, Kay. Good morning, Mindy. I, don't, I get a bit muddled where people are. Hi, Lisa. Okay. So, we've got the 
We've got grey granite. It's a bit of an unforgotten colour, I think. And then we've got this brickwork on top. And then I've got a layer of black and this designer series paper, which was from last year's host paper. So on the other side of some of them, it had some lovely black and white designs, which are very classic. If you like black and white paper, there's some new black and white paper in the in the new catalogue. So the great thing about black and white is it doesn't have to stay black and white. You've got options to colour it in. So if you really want dimensions, this is one and a half inches by four and one eighths. And then this is two and three eighths by four inches. So it's just an eighth smaller. I'm in a different country, but same time zone. Oh, uh, okay. Did I say unforgotten? <laughs> Heidi says unforgotten, or do you mean forgotten? Did I say unforgotten? I don't know, Heidi, my brain is all over the place right now. <laughs> oh dear, right, so that's going to go there. And that's going to go there. This is very different from the original because I don't have all the dies to hand. This is looking rather different, but we're going to just go with it to show you that so you don't have to have every single same supply. I've got a rather squeaky table today. Shush. Actually, let me bring you towards me a bit more, then I won't have to lean across. There we go. Stop that down. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, maybe, is choose a different floral stamp. Um, let's go for... I want something rather bold, so I'm going to go for artistically inked. We're going to use it in a matching flirty flamingo. Oh, the grey was unforgotten. Matt says he's on another planet. <laughs> oh, we see, grey granite is a f unforgotten, yes, I mean forgotten colour. Oh, that came out well. Um, I think grey granite is underrated. I should, it's underrate, whoop, underrated. Underrated. So we're just going to fussy cut this. So try and keep your scissors fairly straight and then you've got easy access to move the card around. Oh, sunshine's gone in. Did you see that? It just went really dark. <laughs> That's a pretty rose. And then we're going to do a little bit of stamping on our... Card with the unforgotten colour. <laughs> Just got to wind up Heidi now by using the wrong words. It has gone dark. Look at that. I can see it on the screen. So we're just going to do one there. It's a nice combo pink, grey, black, and white. Can't go too wrong. Okay, and let's start putting this baby together. And then I'll show you the original, because I like keeping it, keeping the suspense, you know? If you know it all at once, this is upside down. Not that it matters at this point, but it will eventually. So if anybody out there is local to me and is listening, I could do with a bright pink pashmina or an old olive colour or a, mm, like a shaded spruce colour, <laughs> like a racing green, okay? So if you're watching this and you've got something like that that I could borrow, that'd be great. <laughs> you never know. Just putting it out there. There's my doorbell. Hold on, folks. Someone is a bit confused. 
So I'll move that once. Don't be exactly ignore that, could we? What date do I need it by? Next Thursday. Have you got something? <laughs> Don't worry, I can I've got i I've got a plan B. <laughs> it's always good to have a plan B up your sleeve. Right, so we're sticking this down. So I've asked a friend who I thought might it would be likely to have one. And she doesn't. Now, I don't know if my mum's watching at the moment. She might, but she doesn't always have plain colour. I think it's the 4th, is it? Whatever the next Thursday is. Um, she doesn't tend to have plain colour pashminas so much. Um, I could always get one online, but you know when you just want something for an occasion? Oh, Deborah, have you been poorly? Sorry to hear that. Okay, then I've got some pre-cut sprigs from the Bows and Blossoms um, punch. I, don't, I think it's called the, I don't know, Sprig Duo punch or something. And you can get your tweezers and give these a little bit of a shape. With these, sometimes I just like to bend it around the actual tweezer. You could twist it. Shaded spruce would suit me better, says Heidi. Yeah, I but I do I can carry off a nice melon mambo. <laughs> so Shaz says she often buys pre loved clothes on eBay. To be honest, you know, I would say ninety five, maybe a bit more percent of my clothes are second hand. Or in the sale, I rarely buy anything brand new and in desperation I did buy something new today but it ended up not I, did, I couldn't try it on in the shop and I it didn't fit so I've got three sprigs here and I'm just going to lay them down in the background and these are going to sit nicely underneath my circle um, so I'm going to return that um, but it's what you do when you're desperate you buy stuff just in case then I was going to buy this quite a cute dress. It was in the sale, but it was still £15. And Ruth will cringe at this because it's that funny kind of, you know, that static material. Is it not polyester? <laughs> but, I mean, to look at it, you wouldn't know that it was that kind of material. But I was like, I'd get super hot in that. And if it was any cheaper, I'd consider it. But it wasn't like, it wasn't very cheap. And I couldn't get a refund. She said, the lady said I couldn't get a refund, only an exchange. So I was like, do you know what? No, I don't want to be stuck with it. I think I'm missing a little pink spruggy thing. Let's see if I can find one. Yep. So, um... Crinoline, um, it could have been crinoline. <laughs> it was that like really, really staticky material. So I'm glad I left that behind because I was like, I can't keep returning everything that doesn't fit. Anyway, so there's another dress I got, which is super cute and very summery and very bright and very cheerful and very me. And I feel like a big doll in it. <laughs> it's not very complimentary, but it's very cute and I love it. So I'm pleased to have a nice new summer dress in my collection because I do need to get rid of some dresses that don't fit me as well. And I, I'm desperate for a bit more of a, a new summer wardrobe. I feel like I bring out the same thing every year. Weird, I was hearing your voice and seeing comments but the video wasn't moving. I had to go and come back in. That's the best thing to do. It looked adorable, but not for the wedding. Heidi got a little sneak peek. I phoned Ruth to show her. Um, and it's so cute on. Very cute. Even if I do say so myself. Right, this is going to go flat. Although I'm tempted to lift him up. And just stick him down. Because this is the joy of doing these sort of things. You can just change it up as you go. That's what I'm deciding to do today. Change it up as I go. Oh, 
Uh, she has lived in farm clothes 99.9% .9 of the time. I do like a little dress up. It's nice to be able to do it, but you've, it's got to look right. It's got to be the right sort of thing. The other thing I'm desperate for is now some really good sucking pants. <laughs> Shapewear, I should say. I'm just disclosing all my information to the world. But, girls, you know what I mean. So I'm really hoping those, it will all come together because I'd really like to wear this nice spring-like dress that I've got for the wedding. So, do you get bored of wearing farmer clothes, Charles? Do you think, oh, I just want to put on a nice dress? <laughs> oh, I've got these new pretties. I don't think that colour would quite go, but these might go. Hmm, let's go a little pinky. Ah, oh, thank you, Heidi. That dress is so gorgeous on you. Thank you. I just need to make it work, you know? Shaz hates dressing up. Ah. Oh. I just, it's just nice to, that goes all right, I think. It's a difference in colour, but we're going to work with it. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, I wouldn't do it all the time, but it's just nice to have a, you know, a bit of a difference, you know what I mean? <laughs> Valerie says, Shaz, what do you call from the clothes? Oh, and that, the other thing I got today, I forgot I bought these. I've been wanting one of those pairs of like baggy dungarees, you know, those kind of ones that you just slip on and put a t-shirt underneath. And I got some in the sale, just a pair of black ones, and they're gorgeous. I can have like a little t-shirt underneath and wear these baggy dungarees. They're so cute. Right, anyway, sorry, <laughs> I got sidetracked. Here's the original, and here's the one I made today. Look how different that looks. Almost virtually the same materials, but they can look really different. So I was wanting to recreate this, but use different, um, make it more. Oh, come on, brain. Need some more water. <laughs> A bit of brain lubricant. Hold on. Just shake wear of panties and a shawl and you'll be set. Although I didn't really didn't see a problem with the green shawl I saw you showed us. Yeah, you know when something's okay, but if there's something better, <laughs> it's like it's okay. But <laughs> if I could find something better, I'm tempted to do a little bit of Winter Stella. Winter, okay. Ooh, let's knock everything over. She just looks as if she needs pepping up a little bit this rose. There we go, and in honour of our dear friend Glenna, who's not here, it just does need a little bit black dotage. Gonna lose that dye, let's keep that safe. I just feel like both of them could do with it. Sort of graffiti art. <laughs> oh, Thank you, Heidi. I'll take the compliment. Oh, I know, but if you can't find anything better, it still looks stunning, is what I'm saying. Thanks. I'll take it, Heidi. I'll take it. Thank you. Right, let's try. Now, I started sort of cutting some bits beforehand. I've lost the bits I'm cut out. Let's have a look. So, I thought that could take the place of the black bit underneath. That could maybe... Take the place of the green and then possibly a piece of that for the background. So that's what we're working with. We're going to work with the same sketch, but we're going to try and use this DSP, which I think is it still in the catalogue? Heart and Home. Does this go up to the end of June? I am getting myself a little bit confused with the catalogue at the moment and what's here and what's gone and what's staying and who's going and blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
good old blah 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 right and then we'll use that's basic grey I think so basic grey base I think Let's see if I've got one no of course I haven't right um and then I wonder if that actually that paper's that paper must have gone because it's got misty moonlight in it and been naughty and using that Oh, not naughty, because it's good to use up the old ones. Um, looking for light of navy. See if I'm... Ah, I spotted a piece in here. Ooh. Not quite. I wonder if we can get away with that. It's got this nice stitching around the edge. It's just shy. Okay, I don't think I can get away with it. <laughs> okay, let's just cut one out. Sorry, wait, I don't know what's going on with the Wi Fi. Oh, it's still valid to the end of May. Right, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. I told you I was a bit all over the place, didn't I? Well, on um, Saturday morning, I had my fourth COVID jab. I'm doing quite well. I got my booster. And that knocked me for six on the Sunday, I tell you. So, uh feeling a lot better actually but boy was that a bit of a I felt like I lost a day put it that way <laughs> come on little trimmer sorry I know Flaggy doesn't like my squeaky trimmer I quite like the way it tells me it's trimming <laughs> so we've got that and then we've got that I'm thinking a nice bit of green underneath. Now, I don't often like using garden green as a base card. But, I don't know, it's just one of those colours. <laughs> Let's see. I think it will work today either because it might be too much green. But we'll see. Well, well we will see. Um, Let's bring back the, do what, let's swap it out for dyes I'm using are from Blooming, Blooming Happiness Eyes. I've just tried to connect to my data rather than my, um, right, let's get the, Machine back on. So this looks like the edge of a notebook. So we'll see what this looks like. It might not look quite right at the bottom, but remember it's a shape, it doesn't have to be a set set in stone thing. I like the look of this. It's cute. Just gives something, something. Right, 
you move down a little bit and you go there, then let's see if I've got a spare circle. Dun, 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 Bricklets from the punch. This punch is carrying over, thankfully. Because it's a nice one to use. I'll try like your miles away, come back. And then uh, Big pieces of card and not and some smaller pieces. <laughs> Made up my own tune then. Right, I'll just use that one and cheat a little bit. Okay, so far, so good. Okay, and then for the, rather than doing a flower, I just thought, could, now has that pesky player got my dragonfly punch? I think she has, you know. <laughs> I might have to. Dun, 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 dun. Let me have a look. Where's that set? So, I think... Let me think. I don't want anything too wild. I'm going to use the lovely framed occasions. I'm going to go in with some garden green. Now, just be careful when you come to stamp, you don't want to overlap that piece there because you get a mark on your page. I always have good intentions to have birthday cards pre-made, but it never happens. My trouble is I have too many. <laughs> I've got too many cards that I can't get rid of enough. So I am going to be forced into fussy cutting. I'll be chasing up that Clary. <laughs> That's fine. She was using it. And then when I come to use it, I'm like, oh, I could really do with that one. It's just the case, isn't it? You're not using it at the time. And then... So this could be suitable for Father's Day, which we've got coming up in June. For a birthday. It doesn't have to be masculine, but I think sometimes... People struggle with masculine cards. Looking for my. What just on my scissors? Oh dear. Have they disappeared too? 
in two seconds. No, I don't want my ribbon scissors. There you are. So there is a punch to go with this. But if you don't have it, you can always fussy cut. Okay, the lesson of today, there's always option B. Okay, that's your lesson. If there's anything that you need to take with you, there's always option B. <laughs> I should rephrase that. There is sometimes option B. Lisa says, I have too many cards as well. I get so many ideas I have to create, but then end up with too many cards. I do use a lot of cards, so that's good, Lisa. I don't know about you, I find it difficult to part with cards that I've just made. <laughs> I was saying, oh, I can't give that one away. I've just made that one. <laughs> Is that, is that just me? <laughs> I like I have to wait a little while or stash it away for a bit. I used to make cards specifically for people and then it wasn't such a such an issue. But now I'm like, I can't give that away. I've just made it. Silly. Silly, really. I like this. It's quite sophisticated. I thought we could have him perching on there. Nice, nice. I might do it slightly off there and then those down there. Okay, we'll think about that, Esther. A bit weird hearing my name being called by my own self. <laughs> it's different from using like the third person to actually calling yourself by your own name. That's different. I think we need to get sticking, folks. Let's get sticking. So, this now doesn't look like the edge of a notebook, it just looks like a decoration. Fabulous. I do like using the third person, not all the time because that would be annoying. This isn't straight, why is this not straight? Hmm. No, I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get my trimmer. And I could always take... I know I've just made it really gluey, but I can take that out. Why doesn't that look straight? I think it was all along, but it just... Your eyes deceive you. My eyes deceive me anyway. Maybe it wasn't that that wasn't straight. It was the... No, see? It's the sides that aren't straight. Maybe it was the green bit. Who knows? We're just going to cover it up anyway. slightly off centre I think. What do we reckon folks? Slightly off centre? Otherwise we end up covering up all our bits and bobs. So I'm sorry about the delayed class for the Bows and Blossoms. Ruth and I have been trying to get on to doing that and there's still time. I think Ruth had a project to video and then she caught Covid as well so Things are a little bit delayed. Next time, I think we'll just put a, put a time on it. But if you are interested in this class, we use this punch and this matching stamp set. We've got four 
video class is available for you. So it's not an actual Zoom class. It's just going to be like a pre-recorded video classes with some ideas of how you can use the set. And all you have to do is send us an email so that you're interested. We'll send you a bill, an invoice. And we'll get that out to you very soon. So this guy's wings. Now, is it the ends of his wings I want? Yes, so let's move that near the end. I was tempted to have the body lifted up as well because sometimes they kind of poise themselves on leaves, don't they? Oh, I took a picture of a red dragonfly or damselfly. What's the difference between a damselfly and a dragonfly? I'm just asking. I'm not, I don't know myself. Now, I don't know if my comments are frozen. Let me just... Because I'm stuck on Lisa's comment from before. I feel like nobody's chatting to me anymore. Um, my other device is out of reach. Out of reach. It must be frozen. If you're wondering why I'm not answering you, it's because I can't see your comments. <laughs> Unless nobody has commented and it's all actually okay. I think, oh, I was going to, mm, <laughs> I don't know now. Oh, I've put green on his wings, that was clever. I was going to have him at an angle, but now I'm like, oh, does it mess with the whole symmetry? It's got green tint on his wings. Damselfly might be small. Oh yes, I think it is a damselfly then. Okay, he's got a special green bit on his wing. So we're just going to fix that by making it more green. <laughs> so I'm just going to get a blender brush, which means I can pick up some colour. Just make it a little bit more greeny. As if it was meant to be. There we go. Oh no, I like it on an angle, says Heidi. I know what you mean. I liked it on an angle, but I just think because of the kind of modern kind of choppiness of the card, I thought it'd look a bit strange on an angle, personally. Sometimes, I, I, I was right with you there, I was happy, I was going to go give it an angle. Oh, uh, what are you guys like? <laughs> You're like, I liked it on an angle too. I wonder if I can change the whole circle round, no. Don't make me do it, folks, don't make me do it. You're making me do it. They made me do it. I've got to listen to my peoples. Okay, it's not going to be much of an angle, but it'll be a little bit, all right? Happy! He's not moving anymore. <laughs> a little bit of an angle, okay? Damselflies have the same wings. Ah! Dragonflies have different size wings. I think it was a damselfly. And the amazing thing is, with the wings, they look very structured. They're very kind of... Um... What's the word? Almost like a, a crisscross, hash kind of design. It was quite incredible. God's creation, honestly. But just take the time to look closely at insects and things around you. It's just rather incredible. So often we don't look at the macro world, but there's so much life to be seen and so much wonder. Um... Oh, come on, cooperate. It doesn't want to crease in the right place. <laughs> Every time I go to crease it, it moves. Oh, well. I'm just gonna... mm, I'm wondering now whether grey is the colour to put it on. I'm also wondering whether I should have done a border around that. 
it's too late for that one isn't it oh well i think we'll just go for that because i don't want to keep you too much longer so we'll use the gray we have loads pairing up on our ponds we're very blessed to have wildlife around ah oh, that's exciting i'll try and remember to post the picture for the dams or fly and then yeah it was a bright red bright red body and then today on my way home i saw a, a moth i think it's called a cinnabub moth possibly bright red one good morning deborah from ohio <coughs> when heidi are you saying i should put it on the garden green color too late. <laughs> I'll just have to make another one. <laughs> I had in my head about the grey to kind of neutralise it. So let's think about embellishments. I think these are rather ideal. Just checking to see. Got some nice sparkly green ones. And these are really nice as well. These new kind of Rustic metallic, meta, metallic. <laughs> Didn't know they were Scottish. <laughs> Who would like that rusty metallic? <laughs> oh, hi, Margaret. Oh, you get a, you get a bit of a sneak preview here, Margaret. Um, I'm late, but love your cards. I'll have to watch later. Thank you, Deborah. Well, if you don't want to see what it's based on, then look away in a minute. I'll tell you when. But um, if you want to stay and catch the replay anyway, you're most likely most welcome to. So I'm just going to put a few little spotty dots on. And that will do. Remember, this is, you know, veering towards the masculine. Well, I am going to show the card that it's based on. And now... And I got to find the sketch that I got it from because I, this was from a, a sketch originally. So if I find out, because sometimes you can just come across a sketch and it doesn't show who actually made the original one. But if I find out the name, I'll let you know. So turn away now if you don't want to see what we made earlier. So there's the one that we made earlier. And then this was, it was based on this one. And then it turned into that. How different does that look? Don't you think that looks completely different? So you can take a sketch, take a design, and then just go and recreate. If you don't have an embossing folder, but you've got paper, use your papers. And, you know, it doesn't, you know, just work out the measurements to whatever sizes you've got. So go and be creative and go and use some card sketches to be inspired. And then if you are inspired, you can look, you can look back now if you've turned away. <laughs> Please do share. Um, on my Facebook group, if you're on Facebook, at I mean, I'm talking to YouTubers here, because that will go out later on YouTube. SSC inspired and shared. Will you put sentiments on later or leave them blank on the front? I'm trying to get in the habit, Margaret, uh, sorry, Lisa, of having some cards which don't have sentiments on. But actually, I just thought I have got my father-in-law's birthday coming up. So... I don't think he normally watches my lives. I might recreate something like this, but maybe actually put a number on it and a happy birthday. So I could do that. And I might do that in a minute, but I'll just do it off camera. So, yeah, I think, you know, when you leave card, cards, the more you leave cards blank, the more uh, option you have to adding on sentiments. I hope that makes sense. They look great, Esther. Thank you. You always make me happy and inspire me. I'm so pleased. Heidi, it's what I'm here for. It's what I love to do. And um, I'll keep you posted about my, um, my, what I say, my wedding dress story. You know what I mean? The dress that I'd like to wear for the wedding. Ah, oh, Lisa likes the dragonfly card. Thanks. It's amazing how it adapts, actually. Thank you, Kay. Nice to have you along. Thank you, everybody, so much. So I'll be back on your screens tonight over on YouTube at nine o'clock and I will see you then. 
If in the meantime you'd like to order from me, you can head over to my online shop at stampinstylecreations.co.uk. Hit the shop tab along the top and that will take you into that. If you'd like a paper copy, you can contact me, stampinstylecreations at gmail.com. And there's a really good offer on the in colours at the moment if you are considering spending about £130. Um, if you want to sign up as a demonstrator, you get a lot of good freebies at the moment. So message me if you'd like to know more about that. Right, I'm off to go and tidy away my <laughs> clothes that are now sprawled out on the bed and have some lunch. Take care. God bless. Hopefully I'll catch some of you later. Bye for now.